you go, go. Kiss my ass if you tell me no, no. Wake me up before you go, go. I don't want to miss another cherry pie. Fuck! Mister, I am so sorry. Jesus Christ, did fucking Helen Keller teach you how to drive? No, my aunt. <sighs> Wacky watermelon. <laughs> Holy shit, you're Rosavelli. And you're lucky I'm not suing you. Sir, I am a huge fan. Believe it or not, I'm an actor myself. You, you know, trying to be, actually. And you know, times are rough, and I could really use a mentor or something. Fuck off, Pillsbury. You almost killed me. You, me, and nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That is how winning is done. What the fuck are you doing? It's Rocky. Look, kid, whatever. This, this shit is, Hollywood is gonna chew you up and shit you back out to whatever Charlie Chocolate Factory you came from. Now, take your shitty Nissan. It's certified pre-owned. And go back home. Pretty sure I hear your mama Java the Hut calling you for dinner. Get out of the road! Sorry, yeah. Damn, sorry. Jesus, Donna, it's like a fucking Chinese opium den in here. Donna, it's me, Kim. Donna? Damn it, Donna, no, please. <gasps> what the hell are you doing? Donna, I thought you were... Dead? Nothing can fucking kill me. All of those moves you were trying on me, huh? You're some sort of hypoglycemia. You like to fondle dead bodies. Do you mean necrophilia? I was trying to give you CPR. Uh, Donna, I was coming to see how that audition last Thursday went. They seem to really like me. You know, I think this might be the one. I mean, they did say there may be a nude scene, but that's fine by me. I got my dad's bod, but there's nothing a couple of lean cuisines can't help, right? Reynolds, Kim. Yeah, that's me. So what did they say? Looks like they called me on Saturday. Okay, and? They said they'd call me back. They called you to tell you they'd call you back? I just thought this time was different. Last time I was rejected, it's because they said I sounded like Sean Connery from The Rock. And of course I did. It's an American classic. Look, kid. Maybe you should start applying for roles that fit more your type. I don't want to keep doing small roles or roles for people who can't act. I can act. I have real raw talent this side of the city has never seen. I'm telling you. Looks like I could get you in for an audition on Saturday. What's the part? It's a cashier. And she's broken down emotionally and physically. Donna, I am not no cashier. I know, but the rest of the world ain't gonna give you a chance once they feast their eyes on you. And from the looks of it, you're the cashier. Just cause some man wearing silk pajamas hasn't given you a phone call yet, doesn't mean you're no good at acting. Patience, my little double stuffed Oreo something you'll learn to love. And so are two working lungs. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. I, I'll call you if I hear something. And close the window on your way out.
Hello? Hello? Hi, this is Tina Durgan calling from Boston Casting Agency. How are you? Good, how are you? Great. I'm sorry to inform you, but we've gone with someone else who fits the director's image for the role better. Uh, but we do have your phone number just in case something comes up in the future. We will definitely let right. you know. Okay, I get it. Goodbye. Hey, Donna. What time was that cashier audition tomorrow? Ba, 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 ba.